Hi, I'm Stu Freedy, and today I'm reaching out to you, my uh, viewers, for some advice. Uh, now, I don't know if you're aware that in previous videos I've said that I am planning to upgrade the RAM on my HP Omen to uh, 16 gigabytes. Now, I've not had the money to do it because uh, 16 gigabytes of RAM is around about 110 pounds for the two times eight kit. Now the Omen has two times four uh, gig slots, so basically I would have to replace both of those RAM chips to um, uh, to upgrade, which would mean throwing them away. However, uh, one of my viewers uh, commented on the video that they actually got their Omen from HP with 12 gigabytes of RAM, which I thought was a bit of an odd amount. Um, but I looked into it last night and actually, because I was more concerned about losing the dual channel functionality, but I was reading up about it that the Omen will support 8 gigabytes uh, and a 4 gigabyte together in uh, a 12 gigabyte configuration. And I was reading up about it and the memory controllers, modern memory controllers uh, for Intel chips have something called a flex mode. So if I was to stick 8 gig in and 4 gig, in theory 8 gig will run in dual channel mode and 4 gig will run in single channel mode. Which to be honest with you, I'm happy with that to be honest. Um, because in terms of gaming performance, if you've got a dedicated GPU, then there's no real difference between single and dual channel speeds. Where you get the uh, performance boost with having dual channel RAM is if you had an integrated graphics which was using the RAM as um, video memory. And the way I use my GTX 1050, because it has that extra memory pool, uh, which can take from the system RAM, it will, um, it does use some as, um, as video memory. And that's what worries me a little bit about um, losing the dual channel functionality. I don't want to give it more RAM, but then uh, lose frame rate, because uh, if you've seen what my previous videos, I do run over the video memory limit of two gig, therefore it is using system memory. So I don't want the like extra seven, 800 meg of system memory to be slower. Um, and that, that's where the dilemma lies, because yeah, in theory, eight gig will run as dual channel, which you would hope would be for the graphics. And um, to get an eight gig stick, it only is only going to cost me fifty quid. So you know, I would I'm in this leaning towards the fact that if HP sell it with twelve gig of RAM and eight and a four, I'm leaning more towards the fact that I, you know why? Yeah, I'll stick a, an eight gig in now whilst I got you know whilst I can get the money for it, then. In future, if I do need 16, then put the other eight in then. At the moment, there's not actually much need for um, 16 gig of RAM. There's only a couple of games I've really seen. Well, absolutely. Uh, Assassin's Creed Syndicate's the one, I, the big one I noticed, where the page file proper gets spanked, uh, and you do get micro stutters because of that. Now, um, I'm hoping, obviously, the extra RAM, um, Sidewinder Snake has confirmed it that um, if he, when he put a 16 in his, the eight of that got assigned to the GPU, giving him a 10 total. So if I go to 12, then I'll have eight for my GPU because I've got six currently. So um, yeah, I, I don't know what to do. Do I? Because I want to get a RAM upgrade. I think I do need it sooner rather than later. But I just don't have the money to go out and buy a full 16 set. Because 110 quid, you know, whilst you've got family and other commitments, is quite a lot to drop. Whereas 50 quid is easier to, you know, is easier to justify. And as I said, I think I could live with 12 for quite a while. To be honest with you, I might not even have to upgrade in the future. I might just live with 12. And as I said, if it's capable of running eight in uh, dual and four in single in this supposed flex mode, as long as the dual channel part is the part that's used with the uh, GPU, um, I would be happy with that. Um, but yeah, just uh, let us know what you think in the uh, comments below. Do I? Do you think I should wait and get this full 16 set up? Or do you think I should just get eight now, bump it up to 12? Uh, because as I said, the, the, the big no-no was the mixing and matching of the RAM chips. But uh, if the companies are doing it at the factory anyway, 
and um, I've done it before anyway I had a Mac with 3 gig of RAM I had two, one 2 gig stick I put in myself and one watt game with a Mac so I've mixed and matched RAM before with no problems and modern memory controllers by all accounts are much better at handling mixed RAM so it, I'm not too fussed about mixing the RAM uh, but yeah I don't know I, I, I'm just wondering is it worth doing 12 now um, you know eight and a four and then in future if i do need it and then go out and get the other eight to make it 16. i think that's the way i'm more leaning that way i also don't waste four gig of the ram what's in the system because i think it is a massive waste to have to crack it open take out uh 50 quids worth of ram because if you were to go and buy two four gig ddr4 sticks you're looking at about 50 quid anyway and it just feels odd you know spending 110 quid to waste 50 quid you know i mean i know i could potentially sell the ram later but hp says for the warranty purposes keep the original parts uh that you've removed from the system that way if you need to return it for any warranty repairs you can revert it back to factory so then i've got then two four gig sticks of ram just sitting in the cupboard if i go for the um full 16 setup at least if i put eight in there a i'm saving half the cost outright and b i'm not i'm only wasting half the ram that's in the system so um yeah let us know what you think in the comments below i'd be uh, really interested you know do you think i should go for the 16 two times six uh, two times eight um at um 110 quid or do you think i should just get the one eight gig stick and live with one four use the memory in this supposed flex mode uh, and then upgrade to 16 in the future by buying a uh, another eight gig stick um, because going that route um, i'd only be paying 53 quid uh, for the one eight gig chip because it's currently on offer at the moment on uh, amazon so yeah let us know what you think i'd be interested to know uh, thanks for watching and I look forward to your comments below. Bye!